A group came all the way. Oh, they come from Guatemala. Yeah. They come one day a family about, I don't think they were five feet tall, came from Peru. Down oh. to Pasco. They said, your birds are famous in Peru. Yeah. But I wrote articles for like 40 years to all the magazines. They even called me one day years ago from Mexico, the big magazine, a real big one. They said, we picked you and another one other guy up there in the state to write articles for us. We'll give you a colored ad. There's several hundred of ads. I paid 200 a, a month every year for years and wrote articles for him too. And every month. And, uh, uh, but he said, we picked you and one other one to write an article. We'll give you a colored ad for every article. I was writing for two already then. And, uh, but that's why they know me. They, uh, did you hear about the heavyweight champion of the world? Have you ever heard his name, Tyson Fury from England? Oh, uh, yeah. He fought a, the largest contract ever in, down in Vegas. $100 million he signed and fought on Saturday three years ago yeah. to fight, to defend his title three times. He got 33 and the third million each fight, and he won on the third one at least last year in San Francisco. Oh. He fights my birds in England and Ireland. Fight. They can oh. compete against anybody <laughs> in two countries. <laughs> They fight the gaff over there. Yeah. And he, before he came, they called and wondered if I could let him have some eggs. So I did when I wasn't even selling eggs. And uh, uh, his big giant of a brother come up Monday morning after the fight on Saturday. And he said, we go all over England in groups. We're millionaires. And he said, your birds compete in England and Ireland, both countries. And it all started with with 10 butcher eggs I gave one of their friends, Jimmy Skeet and his wife come over here in 1996 and to see my birds along with their trip. And they walked at them and I gave them 10 eggs when they left. Wow. And uh, they took them home and yeah, you can't send birds to England from around the world, but I shipped them, I shipped birds for years to Philippines, Guam, Hawaii. Wow. I mean, they went all over. That's why I, I don't even need to advertise, but I've got my website. Yeah. I'm, they, they call me every day, every oh, single wow. day. Wow. Had a policeman come up here on Christmas Day, and they from Mexico City. <laughs> <laughs> a car drove into my yard. Now they must have flown to Vegas and ran the car on this two-hour drive, yeah. and they knocked on my door. We gone. I hadn't even gone to do chores yet, oh, and the, the, they had two interpreters, that, and they couldn't. Even, the two couples couldn't speak a bit of English. I never heard them speak. But he said the policeman wants to look at your birds. Will you show them to him? So we got ready. Let them come down in the morning on Christmas Day. They yeah. never yeah. called for an appointment. <laughs> and I, we went right around the yard like this. And it's 300 foot long, 450 pans. Some of them say it's the nicest yard, especially in the summer when the, the leaves are just, the little limbs are starting to bud right now. And John and I built all, we built these pens in 93. We bought this five acres. There wasn't a building here, and the closest house was two blocks that way. Now there's 70 right across, but they can't move me out of here. It's a farm, five acres. I told them when they built, you better let people lucky. know that we've got animals, and I don't plan on leaving either. If, if you don't have five acres, they got two over there, and they, they, it's not even a farm. But anyway, I didn't mean to keep you. No, no, you're, you're, good. you're good. You're good. You you're wouldn't good. believe how many people come. A little family, not even five, hardly five foot tall from Peru yeah. on a Saturday, and a family from old Mexico that had come before. But there was two countries right on the same day, yeah. and that one guy even came all the way from Saipan. That's almost to China, further than Guam. I sent them to, to Saipan. It's a, it's a U.S. province. Then I could send them express mail. It took three yeah. days to get there. And he liked my birds so well, he comes to my yard one day on the, on the weekend, and he said, my friend here, I want him to get started in the game pile business, and I, you're honest, and you have good birds, and so I, will you pick them out for him? I know you, will, you know your birds better than I do. And so I picked him out a nice tree, and they were all away from Saipan. Roy Jones Jr., former boxing champion years ago, he won 405000 with my white butchers in eight days at Bayou Club and some Because <laughs> Peter told him his wow. life story. So he would get him almost half a million in eight days. Wow. He still won't tell him they're my birds because he don't want to get anybody to get <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Send them last week, but I've got 18 of them that I picked out to send six, and I could almost just go to each stick and take them and they'd be winning because he knows how they win. He won yeah. six more after they just won five straight. He did the big wow. one. Awesome. Look at that one right here. Oh, that's beautiful.
20,000 a year on his job, which is pretty good probably in Mexico that long ago. Unless you're a policeman, a drug dealer, or a, or a doctor. Yeah. And uh, he went to the pit an hour from his house. I was told all this on the phone. And he was making 20 a year. The Christmas and New Year's came on Saturday. He won the derby, was 20,000 that morning on Saturday. His whole year's salary. After the derby, and one of the other talkers, uh, challenge him to a 10,000 man. Same day, he wiped him out, and I was told my one fight went over one minute. That was 30,000, wow. a year and a half wages in on that Saturday morning, wow. Saturday. Then one more guy challenged him to a $3,500 hack fight, and he wiped him out. He made $33,500 on Christmas day. day. Wow. That was a year and a half wages plus 6500 well, That's almost my years. <laughs> hey, and that's just the beginning of the story. Oh. Then he takes his phone out and calls his boss, still on Saturday, for a week off on his job. <laughs> oh. He just made a year and a half wages plus $3,500 yeah. in one wow. day. And I didn't, I wasn't told why. But the next oh. Friday night was New Year's Eve and I went to bed about, I was going to stay awake from the Lord with my wife and I wish each other happy, happy New Year and all that. But I was tired and I just laid down. I just undressed and just stretched my legs out on top of the covers and the phone rang by my bed on New Year's Eve. He just won the $53,000 New Year's Eve Derby seven days later. Oh, he, that wow. made him $86,500 in seven days. He won four years wages at $20,000 a year plus $6,500. That's the year he quit his job. And to my knowledge, he, a year over a year ago, he went up to Deming, New Mexico all these years later and took six of my cocks. And they were half butcher, half radio, like... Like like them half butcher half radios I've been showing you yeah. that won the ninety thousand in Mission Texas and my pure radio cock or head made him half cart quarter butcher quarter radio and he still fights them that way they're all winners from all of you don't even have to cross any of them yeah. he took he took he took, uh, he took, uh, he took uh, five of them over all the way to Guadalajara Mexico be before this five stags. And that's a long travel. A lot of people yeah. use that for not winning. Yeah. If I hadn't had travels for it, I'd probably won. You don't have to make excuses. He won at $42,000 and probably fought against some Dr. Cox without crossing them with my birds. But anyway, <clears throat> that was the, and then two weeks later, after he'd won, after he'd won, he, after he'd won 86,500, that one week, they had the next derby, I get a call. And there were 40 entries, six cock, $1,000 entry. He paid a $1,000 entry. That was $40,000. Multiply 40, 40 cocks on each. Uh, four, six cocks 40 times is 240 cocks. At the end of that derby, he and one oh, other man. entry only had five and oh. They fought for the 40,000 out of 240 cocks with my three way cross. I'll show you several three way crosses right down here. And. Uh, and they fought it and they tied five and a half each. Five and a half each, so they made 20 more apiece. But he wanted to know what kind of cocks that guy was fighting that tied with him out of 240 cocks. And he wouldn't tell him till he went and had a beer. And after the beer, he's even feeling better. He said, I'm going to tell you what these cocks are. I bought them from an old man in northern Utah a few, just a few years ago, and he told me he got them from the state of Utah from an old man named Bill Roberts. And I started laughing, and he said, what's the matter? And I told him, do you realize, I'm paraphrasing, he said, you realize we just split the 40,000 and we're both fighting bills. <laughs> they're both fighting Bill Roberts birds from Utah. That was years ago. But he's still winning the same thing. But he took those six up there, won the 20,000 the first day, and they had a little three-cock gaff derby the next day. So he fought three of them again, 
That was nine fights. He won nine and oh, 60,000 in two days. They had a hell of a party, they said, that week. <laughs> then he calls me. He won a five cock right after that, five and oh. And the last I heard, he had a main lined up with another cocker to fight 5,000 American dollars per cock. Oh, And man. I bet he whipped his butt too. 5,000 a fight. And that was a poor guy just reaching out a living. Him and the young family, now he's a middle-aged family. Still got Bill Roberts, wow. radio clerk, counsel, butcher. And I can show you wow. two or three of them very cocks right now.